Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and in this video we are revisiting my two-tone audio generator that I built for aligning SSB radios. If you're interested in that video please click the link above. But after seeing some videos on YouTube about ground loop problems there was a video that said they used an audio transformer to isolate the output. So we're going to be trying that today to see if it cleans the signal up a little bit. And we're going to be putting it inside this metal box. So first off here we have the metal box I got off eBay for a few pounds. Looks good enough, nothing special, but it's metal. What more can you ask for? So there's the insides with something inside. Looks like it's galvanised some variety. Doesn't feel like aluminium. But anyway, first things, let's put a power socket on it. So we're marked out where we're going to put it and using my step cutter, we're going to put a nice hole. Now this step cutter makes mincemeat of this. So whilst we're watching this hole being drilled, as you can see, 87% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So if you are one of these 87%, please click the subscribe button. It will help me and help the channel. It will help me a lot. Thank you very much. So there's our power socket nicely fitted. coming along nicely. So I've put a little bit of glue on it to stop it coming away. So next thing we need to put an opening for the cable that we're going to use and we're going to use one of these glands into the side of the box. So again with the trusty step cutter inside the power driver as soon as it makes that initial hole it cuts through it without any trouble whatsoever they're easy as that so there's our plan for the microphone cable So next thing we want to do is actually mount the circuit board properly inside the box. So I've marked out the mounting holes that will line up with the circuit board. And again, the trusty step cutter eats through this like no trouble at all. easy as that okay that was sped up a little bit so we've added some m3 plastic um, screws and because we've got the screws protruding on the bottom we're going to add some rubber feet to the bottom this will make a nice addition so it doesn't slide about on the bench it just feels a lot better now than the bare metal on the desk actually feels nice and firm and with it being a metal box it's got a little bit of weight to it so there's the two-tone audio generator with the um, audio transformer already fitted the board fits down nicely and those screws we've put in we'll drop some plastic bolts on the top secure it into place So we connect up the power. So the power is just to power the two tone board. I've also connected a couple of extra negatives which we will need. And I put a little bit of double sided tape on the 
transformer just hold it into place now on the top I've marked out and measured some placement of where I'd like the switches and the pots so again the step cutter does this job nice and easily there that's all the holes drilled out just needed to file a couple down just for the switches because they were just a tiny little bit too small but a couple of seconds with the file and they fit just nicely so we've got an LED that's going to go in the middle it's going to be green for RX and red for TX when the unit's powered and that's all the switches fitted and the holder for the LED fitted I think it's coming together quite nicely so we're going to test the LED so I'll put a current limiting resistor that's way too big for this so the LED isn't too bright and wired it up to the switch it's as simple as that so we've got the wires from the microphone red transmit, white receive, yellow audio and a ground so we wired the transmit and receive up to the switch and we wired the audio to the audio transformer now on my first test I got a massive howl so I had to put the um, microphone through the switch so we powered it up we've got top trace is the output bottom trace is the input to the transformer now the input is um, the level's been brought down because the output seems to be a lot lower but that's good as you can see the balance is mixing the signals nicely and the level turns a level up and down a lot better now it's got this audio transformer in so let's try it on a radio here's my trusty multi-mode 2 so we'll put it on to transmit I'll switch both the tones on and a little bit of fiddling about with the scopes trigger we get a nice steady well steady-ish waveform there so we can adjust the amplitude of that and we can adjust the two tone so it seems to be working quite nicely so happy with that feels a lot better than the small plastic enclosure than I had last time feels a lot more weighty on the desk not it doesn't move around as easy now so I'm just messing about with the controls on the top just to try and get that center point pinched down as best we can make sure we're not flat topping too much but even then the um, ALC should kick in so very happy so I've added some labels thanks to my Dymo label printer just basic labels but what more do you need so overall very happy with the way that's turned out again from the um, initial uh, plastic box now to a metal box if you like this video please click this link if you like this type of content please like subscribe I have a patreon and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video